I'm back. So today I'm making a refreshing strawberry salad, y'all. And while I'm putting it together, I want to have a conversation about changing our diets. Recently, I've been reflecting on what I've been eating. And I realized that some of the choices I've been making just aren't serving me. Like, it's so easy to reach for a quick processed food like chips, you know, sugary snacks like pies and stuff like that because they're convenient and they taste good. But over time, they don't make me feel good. And I start noticing how they affect my energy levels and even my mood swings. The thing about eating foods that aren't great for us is that it's easy to get into a routine of grabbing them without even thinking. You know what I'm saying? But I'm learning that we can still enjoy food without sacrificing our health. Instead of completely cutting out the things that I really love, I'm really just working on balance, you guys. I'm focusing on bringing more, you know, organic food, fresh food into my diet. Like this salad that's full of strawberries, which are not only delicious, but you know, strawberries are packed with vitamins and antioxidants. I be using this right here, y'all, um, for a lot of different things. And you can use this pancake mix for, like, flour. And I'm using it for my shrimp, along with some Old Bay seasoning, you guys. I put a little bit on there because I only have a few shrimp. I already scrambled the eggs, so I'm going to put this cilantro the homemade cilantro that I made with um, fresh organic cilantro. Mix it up. Get the flavor all up through there, y'all. And then, I'm going to um, mix the egg in. The egg gives it, gives it a little flavor, but you know, the egg makes the um, flour or this pancake mix here stick to it. So now I'm going to go ahead and fry this shrimp. Now they say shrimp not good for you either, but um, I'm going to wing my way off of it as well. By the new year, I'm probably not going to be eating meat at all. Probably just fish or salmon. And then just go ahead and wing my way off of it because I feel like fruits and vegetables are the best for you. You feel what I'm saying? When you eat cleaner, you feel better. I do anyway. I feel more focused and energized. I'm going to go ahead and um, fix this shrimp right quick. You know it don't take but a minute to fix shrimp. It takes really less than five minutes when the grease is real hot. So it's almost done, you guys. I'm going to flip it right quick. Like I said, it takes less than five minutes. Now, I got this strainer here. I got it from um, Dollar Tree for a dollar and 25 cents, y'all. Y'all better stop sleeping on Dollar Tree because some of the stuff that you think that you don't need, you really need, like, this strain to grease out. And also, if you washing something, it strains the water off. It's a strainer. That's what they call it. So, yeah, um, eating better makes you more ener energetic. You know, you move a little bit more and more focused. But it's also important to be realistic. We all have cravings for them bad foods, and, yeah, it's okay. The key is eating it in moderation. So, while I'm shifting my focus toward healthier meals, I'm also allowing myself to enjoy occasional treats without feeling guilty and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'ma go ahead and put this stuff up. Y'all guys, make sure you get some pancake mix, like I said, cause you know, you can use that for a little bit of everything. I like to go ahead and clean up before I eat. You know what I'm saying? 
just so everything will be neat and I won't have anything to do after I eat but wash what I'm eating with. But I like to wash my dishes as well before I eat, especially after I get through cooking. Go ahead and clean up the kitchen and stuff, you know. That make the kitchen stay clean, you know, more refreshing and stuff like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse the dishes real quick, you know. Um, it don't take but a minute to do that. I remember I was over one of my friend girls' house one time, and she was telling her children to wash the dishes, and they were piling all through the house and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But it don't take but a few minutes to wash the dishes and rinse the dishes and put them inside of the dish drain. Now, my friend, she didn't have a dish drain. So, after they rinsed their dishes, they went on to use um, paper towels or either one of those hand cloths that hang in the kitchen. They went on and dried the dishes with that. You feel what I'm saying? But it don't take but a minute. Even old greasy pots and stuff of that nature. Just put a little dish detergent in there. And then use some degrees. I bought this from Family Dollar, y'all. It didn't cost nothing but like two dollars, less than two dollars and fifty cents. Just add a little degrees in the pot, and it's gonna come out. It's gonna come out immediately, y'all. You might have to get one of those um scrubs and scrub it out. You feel what I'm saying? But it's gonna come out and it's gonna be clean so start investing your money and stuff where you don't have to really just use that elbow grease all the time you know it'll just simply clean you wipe it out you scrub it with your little brillo pad or whatever rinse it out and then put it in the dish drain or do like my friend girl used to do go ahead and take some paper towels and dry it out or use one of them dish towels and dry it out. I used to put that knife in the back, even though I ain't no kids over here. It's a routine for me to put the knife in the back, cause they ain't got no business reaching for a fork or a spoon, and then, you know, it's a knife right there, and they might accidentally cut they still. I wipe the seat sink down. You know, it's just something that I do. I was taught to do it from a very young age. get this little salad together cause baby I'm hungry. I like the different lettuces that they have, especially romaine lettuce. Makes me go to the bathroom and just get all the waste out of me. I don't buy those heads of lettuce no more since I've been seeing people making them in, you know, labs and stuff. I like to get different color fruits and vegetables. You notice that when you get different color fruits and foods and vegetables and stuff, automatically you know that they're good for you. A lot of people, when they be showing their plates and stuff, they don't have no color on their plate. Everything be brown. The chicken be brown. The rice be brown. The cornbread be brown. You see what I'm saying? No color on the plate, which indicates foods that are good for you. So, yeah, that's what I like. You see all that color that I'm putting on the plate? Yellow, white, green, you know what I'm saying? I got red, you know what I'm saying? Put some color on your food. Sometimes you just gotta make better choices. You see what I'm saying? Like this salad is just one example of how easy it can be to make a nutritious meal. It's quick. And baby, it's satisfied. So, if you've been feeling like I've been feeling, it's time for a change in your eating habits, then just start with small steps. Like last night, I had some chicken wings. No good and well, I ain't had no reason to be eating no chicken wings because I noticed that it weighs me down. So, maybe i just replace one processed snack with fresh fruit or try a new recipe like another different salad or something. You know what I'm saying? But over the time, I feel like the little changes will add up. And I start to feel 
a big difference. You feel what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you eat that red meat and stuff, it weighs you down. It makes you feel heavy, sluggish, you know, not energized. But when you eat fresh fruits and vegetables, you feel a totally different way. Now, what I'm going to do is show you how to make some salad dressing. This is the economy way of making salad dressing. I don't have any salad dressing, so I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to use this pickle ketchup, baby. And then I'm going to add some, um, I think this Duke's mayonnaise. Yeah, a little Duke's mayonnaise. And then once you do that, you just going to mix it up, love. You just going to mix up the mayonnaise. And you're going to mix up the ketchup together. And guess what? Guess what it's going to taste like? Thousand Island dressing. Thousand Island dressing. I just wanted to get some dressing for you guys since I am making a salad. But I'm really used to eating um, vinegar rich dressing. I just don't have any. But um, I really can go without. I, I can put a little taste of vinegar on y'all. And, you know what I'm saying, a little bit more seasoning, and I'll be good. Put a little cayenne pepper on there for a little spicy taste, and I'll be good. But, you know, um, we got to do better with eating. And I feel like if I just, um, I love to lick the spoon, y'all, because I love mayonnaise. And that's something I got to learn how to make some, like, vegan mayonnaise. Because that mayonnaise is something serious when it comes to calories and stuff. But I just want to show y'all the economy way of making salad dressing when you don't have salad dressing. But nine times out of ten, you got ketchup and you got mayonnaise. So with that being said, I'm going to munch on this salad, baby. It's going to be, oh, child, just so delicious. Just rock myself outside, get a little sunshine. What y'all doing? Get a little vitamin D from, from the sun for this melanin skin. Mm-hmm. Why well, eat this good salad? It's the strawberry for me. And I'll be back. You know I'm coming back. Peace. Mm. 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 Mm.